My name is Dr. Helen Fisher, and the book is Why Him, Why Her? Finding Real Love by Understanding Your Personality Type. For me, this was the last big question. Um, why do you fall in love with one person rather than another? I've always known there was chemistry in the brain to romantic love, but maybe there's chemistry between certain kinds of people. So I began to look into the genetic literature to find out who we are and then who we love. As it turns out, there's a lot of chemicals in the brain that code for the blinking of the eye, the pounding of the heart, etc. But there's only a few chemicals that seem to be directly related to um, personality traits dopamine, serotonin, testosterone, and estrogen and oxytocin. And these four chemical types I call the explorer, the builder, the director, and the negotiator. The explorer tends to be risk-taking, novelty-seeking, curious, creative, spontaneous, optimistic. Barack Obama is a perfect example. So is Angelina Jolie, very different kinds of people, but both have that energy, curiosity. The second type is the builder. These people are calm, social, popular, cautious, but not fearful. They're traditional, often religious. I think George Washington was a good example. Tiger Woods is a good example. The third type is the director. They're direct, decisive, tough-minded, competitive, ambitious. Hillary Clinton is a perfect example. John McCain is a very good example. He used the word fight 43 times in his acceptance speech. The fourth type is what I call the negotiator. They see the big picture. They're very flexible, imaginative. They're very intuitive, compassionate. Bill Clinton is a perfect example. Men are expressive of estrogen as well as women. What I did on chemistry.com is I studied 40,000 people to see more about these four basic types, and then I watched who was chose to go out with whom for a first date. As it turns out, the explorer type, the dopamine type, tends to be drawn to people like themselves. They want somebody who's energetic, enthusiastic, adventurous, curious, creative. Two explorers who are drawn to each other, I think, are Barack and Michelle Obama. The builder type, they also go for people like themselves, others who are traditional, other builders. The director, the high testosterone type, goes for high estrogen, and the high estrogen goes for high testosterone. And I think a very good example of that is Hillary and Bill Clinton. Hillary is the more high testosterone. She's direct, she's decisive, she's tough-minded, and he's very drawn to her, so that's a very good example. I think that this explains a puzzle that scientists and laymen have wondered forever. Do opposites attract? Do birds of a feather flock together? And as it turns out, it depends on what your personality type is. I think that once you know what type you are, you can help yourself out on the dating scene. For example, explorers are so charismatic and uh, so interesting and so charming. And so I say to them, go slower, don't leap into things. The builder tends to follow rules and schedules. You gotta take some risks. They can be too modest and they should brag a little bit more. The director has to get out there and do the dating. They often find dating a pain in the neck. They want to stay at the desk. They'll bring the Blackberry on the date and keep working. That's a mistake. The negotiator is so flexible, so kind, so compassionate that people will interpret them as a doormat. They won't be decisive. And so they've got to stick up for themselves. They've got to stick up for their ideas. Once you figure out who you are and who you're dating by knowing these personality types, you can reach them. You can find intimacy with them. You can win them.